She's a runner, she's a track star. That song keeps being played on my on my block all the time. She's a runner, she's a track star. I can't even, I don't even know what to say about that. Grand Rising. How are you, my beautiful people? I put the light on my face. Mm. How are you guys? I love you. And thank you so much for joining, for watching the replay, and for um, being here to support. <coughs> I may be doing that a lot. This brother be acting up. This brother be acting like it's going to be hot. Then it's not. So, quick announcement. Today, I will be at Vegan Botanica over on 2... No. You're not going to hear that. 4, 5, 3, West. 2.30 AC. When is that start, guys? It's not on the AC. Last time I got lost. So I'll be there today. Grand Rising, everyone. I'll be there today um, doing 15-minute tarot and 15-minute Reiki. So if you want to come and get both or either or, I'll be there. There will be a lot of vendors. And um, it does get packed, so get there early. As soon as I finish here, I'm like on my way over there. I'm not going to lie because I do not want to miss out. <coughs> So I'll be there today. Buy me a coffee cool, um, your new moon video and um, PDF is coming up. This new moon is very powerful, you guys. I advise you guys to really understand that what you initiate now will be projected within the next six months. So these new moons always come up every month, yada, 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 but <clears throat> their energy depending on what you ask for, it lasts for six months. For example, I um, started six months ago the Buy Me A Coffee supportive um, group so that we can have a space to talk about um, all things spiritual without um, feeling bad. And um, I started it six months ago, and now it's, it's grown, and it continues to grow, and that's something that I initiated six months ago. So um, with that being said, it's best for you to really sit down with yourself we are all the things that you really do not want in your life so that you don't have to think about those things anymore and focus on the things that you do want. So when you go ahead and take that piece of paper tomorrow and you write down and initiate what it is that you want to start, it doesn't matter if you want to get a house in six months. Like, forget about how I'm going to get the house. Worry about, and I believe I said this before in the monthlies, um, Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't seen your April monthly, it's up on YouTube. Go check it out. Um, I said, um, it takes baby steps. It takes baby steps. So you're sitting there and you want to buy a house. You go ahead and you go see what it, what loans you can get as a first time homeowner. What classes can you take to get more money? Is there any? So like those are the baby steps, but your initial goal is like, I want to buy a house. So when you initiate that tomorrow, the steps are going to be coming in for you as long as you allow yourself to be open, not wondering how, but um, or not how or when, but just saying to yourself, this is what I'm going to be doing to get to my steps. And it becomes quite hard when you are surrounded by other people who are not in the same space as you in the sense of wanting to manifest. A lot of people have to shift through things in order for them to be in a space of manifesting, right? Another thing about manifesting is like, don't sit there and manifest like this. I'm telling you because I've done this. Today is a great day. I want to be able to create the best supportive groups ever. Like that energy right there, the universe is not going to recognize. You have to be like, today is a great day. I want to manifest or I am, you know, and writing everything and, well, this is turning into manifestation class. But anyways, long story short, make sure when you manifest that you manifest with intention and you feel it here. And when you feel it here, can y'all feel me? My chest and my stomach. When you feel it, there, then you'll understand how that's going to project. Remember that you're an energetic being and that you project nothing but energy. So when you put that vibration out there, it's going to come right back to you. All right. So what we talking about today, we talking about this week that's coming up this week from the 12th to the 18th is going to be quite intense. 
There's going to be a lot of fight for your right to party type of shit. We are going to be gathering ourselves together to um, fight for the little people. Like, you know, a lot of us are going to be in a state of not wanting to be oppressed anymore. So a lot, there's going to be a lot of energy pushing us. Not against us, but pushing us to go ahead and really speak up on what we truly believe. And that goes in any part. So if there's any inequality in, at work, some of us are going to be speaking up at work. Um, if there's going to be any inequality at, at in our relationship, we're going to be speaking that up. You guys, please be careful. Because again, there's a lot of energy um, happening in Mars. In Mars, in Aries. And so there's a lot of aggressive energy happening next week. Um, so Monday is going to be really intense. Monday we have, and I'm going to just say it like this and then I'll explain it to you guys. Um, Monday uh, we have... Pluto and Saturn. Pluto is a, a planet of transformation. Saturn is um, the planet of uh, stabilizing and being righteous, right? So you have those two planets, Monday and Tuesday, pretty much going against the sun and Mercury. So what that means is like we're no longer taking anything anymore. Of, like, like, again, like... <clears throat> How can I just, in other words, like, we dead ass gonna be fighting for people. <laughs> so, put yourself in a space of knowing who you want to be fighting for, right? Put yourself in a space of knowing what you're fighting for, so that it could be clarity after this week is over. Because, again, this, things are going to be happening really fast. Sunday is going to be an amazing day. Not this one, but the following Sunday is going to be an amazing time for you to really sit there and understand what it is to um, be emotionally connected to other people. Um, be emotionally um, in a like emotional intelligence, being in that space of understanding why you need to support certain people, why you should support certain people, whatever the case may be. We're not here to support everybody, but um, who we feel right for, you know. So again, there's a lot of so with Mars and Jupiter, there's going to be a lot of wrongs set right. All right. And then next Saturday, is they're saying that it's going to be a jam-packed day. Y'all know what? I already told y'all what book I'll be using. Let me show y'all. Oh, take a minute, please. <laughs> Excuse me. I use this book. And this book really expresses what is going to be happening on a weekly basis. Um, it's really good. So anyway, so Saturday is going to be um, extremely powerful. Um, so... Save up all your energy for that day. because um, And then we'll be here on Saturday talking about it as well. So what's really happening there is uh, we, know, we are taking that energy and uplifting ourselves to the next level. So here we go. Tomorrow we have the new moon. We put and initiate what we want and what we desire into the universe. We go ahead and fight for the right to clear up the space for the things that we want and for other people as well. Right? Because if you help other people, you help yourself. If you want to get a home, you go ahead and also help somebody else. So as you get the information from the homeowners, you go ahead and help somebody else. And that's how you also get your stuff quickly. Remember that. When you want something, you help somebody else do the same thing. And that's the same thing with love. If you want to find love, you uplift other people as well to go ahead and um, find love as well. There's a lot. They're saying a lot today. But anyways, so you go ahead and... Um, this, then Saturday comes in, and with that energy, you start receiving the uh, at least the attempt to take action, right? So if you want to eat healthier, you're taking that initiative um, next Saturday to really say to yourself, all right, that's it. I'm not going to treat my body like that anymore. I'm going to go ahead and get healthy. Uh, I'm going to get out of this unhealthy relationship. I'm no longer going to be scared to um, talk to my boss and tell them how I feel about the project that I don't want to do. So those are the things that are going to be coming up next week. I'm pulling out a one card for all of us. <clears throat> Not for all of us. For each sign to see what area in your life is calling for attention for next week's energy. All right. Mars is also, excuse me, Venus is going to be moving into Taurus on Wednesday. So that changes things because Venus is, is the... Orig not the original, but the planet of, I don't know. Um, Venus is the planet that is connected to Taurus, so that means that the the planet is going to 
Um, and just imagine when you, if you love your home, when you're home, you feeling at home, you feeling free. So when Venus is there, like our energy, when it comes to our imaginations, um, we're going to be initiating our creativities next week as well. So, um, and that I will talk about that cause I already talked about, um, Venus and Mars or uh, Venus and Aries. So just stay tuned y'all. They, we got a lot going on. Also, if you're interested in learning tarot, we're starting our group three live classes um, for the next three weeks, and we're together in a supportive group having fun. You have a workbook that you can go through, so go ahead and if you want to join us. I know um, Keisha joined us last time. So, Lisa, how you doing? All right, let's go. Dear angels and archangels, thank you so much for being here, protecting us and guiding us, providing good and clear advice. When it comes, take a deep breath, y'all. Let's sink in together to get these messages. <clears throat> so Aries. Aries, you have the five of coins in reverse, so you are concerned about money. So that's the area where spirit wants you to um, to really pay attention to your finances, all right? Taurus, you have the five of swords, communication. Cancer. I wonder if it's my sister. Leanna, do you always want your message before Gemini? Because Cancer and Gemini is always be fighting for the, this energy. Who else is a Cancer here? So Cancer, you got the Death card. So since you want to rush up, Gemini, the Two of Coins. Leo, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, it says she's patient. She is, though. Virgo, the Nine of Swords. A lot of us are worried. Why? I mean, not why are we worried, but I know that there's a lot of things happening. I, I, I don't watch the mainstream news, but... Why do people be like it's too early to be spamming people and they just be in here spamming look at this they don't got nothing else better to do anyways <clears throat> libra you gotta can you erase those messages libra you got the page of cups scorpio you got the strength card in reverse Sagittarius, you got the emperor, the emperor. Capricorn, the lovers card, the reverse. Capricorn and Aquarius. We are all worried about something this week. Y'all, I'm going to need all of us, all of us, including myself, to not be worried about anything next week. Pisces. Oh, Pisces, you got the four. Pisces, I feel like Pisces card is the only card that is giving me some life this week. We have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. A lot of us have maybe started a new job um, recently, or if not, we started a new project, and... We want to make this cash really quickly when it comes to this project, this collaboration. And in all the reality, we have to take time to sit back because there's a lot of things. It's just the beginning. That's oh. So for those, those of us who are coming out of quarantine, it is just the beginning. So, you know, being thirsty to be out there and, and, and um, start making this collaboration and money and feeling like it's going to be working in the next two or three months, you want to pull yourself back because a lot of things are still in the works. People are trying to figure things out. So if you just started this a project, a job, a collaboration, don't be too quick to be um, thinking about the money more than what you are really supposed to be putting into the, into the, into whatever it is, the, um, 
re- some of you guys are new relationship, right? Wanting the relationship to move forward quickly, and it's just like chill. Things just started. Don't 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 you know build? You have to build yourself worth first, trusting the person so that you can be able to move forward. So a lot of us in different areas are really anxious and have an anxiety of what it would look like, and and it's just like come back to the present moment. So for next week, with everything that's going to be happening, we're gonna be brought back to the present moment. Like what haven't you um, looked into to weed things out so that you can get what you want? So a lot of us are wanting things, manifesting things, but haven't cleared out the closet to receive. Spirit is like, do you want to receive new things on top of the old things that you have, new things on top of the old things that you have, or wouldn't you want some clarity where you clear out what you don't want so that you can receive what you do want? So a lot of us need to really clear out and literally, like, I'm looking at my my area right now. We need to clean and clear out things. If you want to move, start packing your boxes to move, right? If you want that new relationship, start setting up your house to actually have someone live with you, right? I'm giving you a lot of shit to this week. So, worry less about the future and focus more on what you are putting into wholeheartedly. If you're worried about the money instead of the project, then that's not for you. And this is the signs that you're getting. Aries. Give me an block. Aries, hey Gia, how you doing? Aries, you got the five of coins. And the five of coins is you talking about you and this, um, this next week you feel, look, I'm feeling like this. Next week you may be feeling like in despair. Right, like like something is missing and like your funds are not really adding up to the way you want to. You might also feel like people are not assisting you th- the way you thought they would. Your um self worth is maybe uh, changing at this current time, right? Because five is about change, so your self worth is going to be changing based on how people have been treating you. Which I'm saying, Aries, like let's switch that around, right? Forget about how people's treating you. Let's start just you treating yourself the way you want to be treated. So that they can also treat you that way. It starts with you. So if you are feeling down and out next week about somebody not assisting you or leaving you behind or not supporting you, start supporting yourself. Where in your area in your life have you not been supporting yourself so that you can go ahead and move forward? If it's in finances and and you're feeling like you don't have enough, switch that mindset around next week and start saying to yourself like that you do have enough and start initiating what it is that you truly want in your business, in your love life, um, for your children, for some of you guys. Just start initiating that. But be careful for us, Aries. Um, a lot of us could be getting into some type of accident next week, or if you haven't already gotten into an accident, just be careful because all a lot of the energy, again, is in Aries, so there's a lot of um, that masculine energy, that warrior energy, that I can do anything energy, that's for everybody. And that's how we're feeling, but we're forgetting that we haven't worked out in so long. So <laughs> you might want to calm that down because you might didn't strengthen, strengthen yourself, right? So look back at, did you strength? Are we going to say it like that? No, we're not going to say it like that. <laughs> did you build strength so that you can be able to get to the next step? So right your foundation. So Aries, focus on your foundation. Have you built that foundation to move forward so that this don't really bother you? Of course, you're not going to be saying anything because it's in reverse. So just think about those things. Taurus, you have the five of swords. And the five of swords talks about communication. It talks about you needing to speak up, but you have next week, you, you, you're still feeling a little bit intimidated about speaking up, right? Because, um, it could be some of you guys uh, want to speak up about something that happened at work, right? And so, I feel like this is you right here. Wanting to speak up, but don't have the willpower as of yet to do so. But if you can see the cloud, I'm going to do this like this. If you can see the cloud, right? You have clarity. There's really nothing by, um, in your way at this current time to speak up. Uh, the other people may not have so much clarity of what's going on. So if you have to speak up at work, do so. Remember, next week the energy is going to be for you. So Spirit is telling you to focus on speaking up. Change the way, five again, change the way you speak up about things. Maybe you don't want to 
put, be in a space. I'm hearing some of you guys saying, oh, I don't want to snitch, right? So is a difference when your money's at stake. Is it snitching or is it protecting your money for the food for your family? Right? That's, that's a difference. All right? So if you need to speak up at work, do it. Fuck it. What do you have to lose besides your salary? You know what I'm saying? For others of you, if you're in a relationship and you're deciding that you want to bring peace and confidence and um, just pretty much, because uh, I'm getting solar plexus, so as long as you bring peace into your conversation, you'll be able to um, share with your significant other what you truly want. For some of you guys, Tauruses, y'all yeah, probably dating two people and you have to let one go so you're not really sure how that's going to happen. So right now you're in your mental space of trying to figure out who is it that you really want to kick. Um, and so you're going to probably let one person down. It's a lot going on next week, y'all. Y'all doing a lot next week, Taurus. Uh, <laughs> relationship, work, somebody snitching. <laughs> Nah, but for real, for real, don't look at it that way. Look at it in a way of, like, we're older now, and I always say, like, if you're not paying my bills, if you're not actually the one that's signing my check, I don't know why should I care about what you say or do. Eventually, we're going to separate. Remember, if this is a situation at work, when you leave that job, nine out of ten times, you don't stay connected with those people. All right? Also, if you're initiating something, do it. Do it with confidence. Change the way you talk to yourself so you can be able to start whatever it is that you want to start. All right, Gemini, you got the two of coins. Right now, Gemini, you're in a space of um, self-worth. I'm getting this balance of um, bringing your self-worth to a balance. So that's also understanding like what the world wants for some of you and what you want. And so now you're balancing out how you can... Um, Give yourself out to the world, but still um, keep some to you, right? So you want to, you, you, next week you're finding a balance on how to um, be for the world and be for yourself. That's that's how I get it. Um, I'm also getting for some of you guys, if you are, you probably been asked, some of you guys have been asked to do um, some type of project or to join a team, project or join a team, whichever one resonates with you. And so you're trying to figure out which one is worth it, right? What you want to do is really um, listen to your intuition and see which one is worth you doing. Um, because right now, it's just putting you in a space of confusion. Whatever it is that you're doing, either one is going to turn out great for you. But move yourself away from that anxiety of not knowing which one you want so that you can be able to then start creating. Because the more that you stick, stay here, you're, not, you're going to be creating less because you're going to be in a confused state. So just really sit down with yourself and write things down and ask yourself what is it that you truly want to do, whether if that's in your love life. For others of you, is picking what contract you want to be um, part of. And if you're creating, that also means what product you may be wanting to put out first. All right, but partnership is definitely at stake. Not at stake, what? Oh, okay, some partnerships are at stake. And other partnerships are uniting. So again, remember, the things that were set wrong in a, in a partnership is going to be um, set right. What right and wrong means, that is all to your discernment. You understand what I'm trying to say? But at the end of the day, this is where when you get this, some of you guys are going to get this, um, like this surprise. And then you have to make that decision. That's all I can get right. Some of you guys are going to receive the surprise. So just be open. And then you're going to have to pick and choose. like, And it's going to have to be quick, too. Okay. All right, Cancer, you got the death card. Right now, whatever it is that you're doing that does not serve you, Cancer, next week, it's time to let it all go. Use the energy next week to let it all go. If you're in a space of depression, put give that up to the planets. Give that up to the universe. Call in your spirit guides. You know what I'm saying? This Sunday, I'm doing a full moon reading. Excuse me. What is wrong with y'all? This Sunday, I'm doing a new moon meditation with the Buy Me A Coffee Crew, and it's going to be to connect you, expand yourself. If some of you guys have not been feeling like you uh, are connected with yourself, 
come join us because this is what's happening to a lot of us. Uh, we're in a space of wanting to be um, more supported by people who are like-minded like us. And um, Cancer, I'm getting that for you. So right now, anybody who's not supporting your dreams and aspirations, just cut them the fuck off. Friends, family, it don't matter. Um, for others of you, um, you really have to be in a space of letting go of how you talk to yourself and how you think things should be going. Start focusing on what you can do to create how you want things to go, right? Stop allowing um, other people's energy to influence you. So right now, the spirit is just saying, um, walk through this portal, right? And as you walk through this portal, and you allow, so some of you guys may be in a space of maybe um, going into meditation. Some of you can't go into meditation. Some of you guys may be getting Reiki. But there is some type of cleansing that I'm getting for you guys. And cleansing could be as easy as you falling asleep, on a, taking a nap when you don't normally take a nap. And that right there, your angels are coming in. When you sleep in, y'all be getting cleansed. And y'all don't even know that y'all be getting cleansed. Because that, sometimes that's when we wake up with like a headache. Sometimes we wake up. Um, feeling refreshed and fine because you you go to sleep and you also that's what they're saying to you um cancer go to sleep ask to be cleansed right calling your angels and archangels and ask to be cleansed and when you get back up you're gonna feel a little bit different um next week if some of you guys um don't feel a little bit different then that's also a sign to let you know that there's things that need to be decluttered but there is a lot of Things happening and some of you guys may also receive a message that somebody uh, may be transitioning into the next um, level of life Leo with the king of Pentacles Leo Leo's energy is skyrocket at this current time um, some of you Leo's are in a space of having a position to be a boss right but you're not happy in the space of wanting to um, be a boss. I'm always sleeping lately. They stay cleaning me up. <laughs> uh, um, I'm sorry. Leo, so some of you guys are in a boss position, but you're not happy with it. And that's because you feel like you're not um, creative in this position. So some of you guys um, enjoy the position that you were in before. And now you did get leveled up and you wanted it, but now you're starting to realize that it's one a lot of probably the responsibilities and two um you feeling lonely you feeling like so some of you guys went into entrepreneurship and by going into entrepreneurship you're by yourself so you definitely feeling lonely so you figuring out like should i have gone into this entrepreneurship and because then you don't have time for other people like for your friends your family your wife your kids so this entrepreneurship um may have may may make you feel next week like if you are unable to do it to complete it but with the pentacles here you do have the you do have the confidence and the money to do this so it's more of like in, in spirit is saying well can you include your family or your friends into what you are creating for some of you Leo's, you can for some of you guys you're like uh -uh, i ain't inviting my family for others of you next week if you're thinking about you know, there goes the houses again. If you're thinking about purchasing a house, if you're thinking about um, moving your family out of the country or the state, talk to them first. You know, have a talk with them. Some of you guys are making, some Leos are making decisions without speaking to other people that are actually involved in your life. So Spirit wants you to involve them in the plans unless you don't want them to be in the plans anymore. So that's when they're asking you to speak up if you don't want to be with the family that you created or the family that you were thinking about creating so there will be some relationship shifting next week for leo as well as debating if should you should be a boss or not right i do see a lot of star cards here so this could be an energy of where you are realigning yourself and really owning whatever it is that you already started creating For others of you, um, if you if you do want to move, just um, go and visit lo the location first. Visit the location and see how it is over there. I 
Nine of Pentacles is about money. So next week, some of you, others of you may be um, having people reach out to you, right? I'm here and bring your ego down if it has to do with money and you've gotten paid for the project before and now you're getting less. Just remember the things that are happening and what um, you've been calling in. So be humble. Virgo, the nine of swords, straight anxiety next week if you allow yourself to. This is why I'm giving you guys this information now. You don't want to be in this space next week, Virgo. Virgo, um, should you allow the energies around you to um, affect you, you could be in a space of anxiety and not really going to sleep. Some of you guys may be scared to fall asleep because um, you probably started... Um, having an out-of-body experience, so you're kind of scared to go to sleep next week. So, um, do your best to stay grounded when you go to sleep. Again, we can ask what we want before we go to sleep, and that actually helps us out. So, Virgo, if you do not want to experience that, you just continuously say to yourself, please allow my body to stay where it's at. I do not want to experience these out-of-body um situation so for you next week but there is going to be a lot of spiritual actions happening for some of you virgos for others of you you're you're in a space next week um you may be seeing other people around you prospering moving forward and doing different things and you ask you're you're beating yourself up virgo for not um being in a space of not being in the same space as them okay that's their space you have your own space and you have your own um tribe that's going to be coming in and assisting you in whatever area that is is that is your tribe of family right the family that you're going to create those family members are going to come in in other words you're going to be meeting your significant other who's going to help you create that family should you decide to attract them to you so next week instead of being in a space like this of anxiety put yourself in a space of attraction and that is helpful for tomorrow as well. The tomorrow is the new moon. Guys, let me tell you something. Tomorrow is epic. Like, write some shit. Yo, if it's one thing that you want to write, just write it. And just let it go. Write it and let it go. Trust yourself. Trust yourself. Some of you guys are also having some anxiety when it comes to creativity. You may be feeling like at work you're not in a space of um, coming up with ideas like you used to. That's because you're not in your heart space anymore. And if you're not in your heart space at work, what does that mean? That it just might mean that it's, not, it's time for you to exit, right? Because your heart is not in anymore. A lot of us next week, our heart needs to be in what we're doing in our heart. Our heart is supposed to be part of whatever it is that we initiated next week. If your heart is not in it, your spirit is going to let you know. So that's where the anxiety, the push and pull comes in and the things that does not work for you come in, right? Because your heart, again, is speaking out. Libra. Libra, you have the Page of Cups. Libra, next week, you're going to be in your feelings, right? Um, some of you guys probably are thinking about dating again. Some of you guys are maybe sneaking on a dating website. Ooh. Uh, and as you sneak into the dating website, you find somebody who may be a little bit younger than you. And so for some of you guys, you might go for it. Go right ahead. Ain't nobody judging you. For others of you... um. Self-love is at its play. You're in the space of really understanding what it means to incorporate self-love in yourself so that like, you can share with others. As you can see here, you're no longer sharing um, your fish, right? You're not sharing your cup. You um, is in reverse. So bringing and pouring all that within you. So a lot of you guys next week are just going to really be in your own space and understanding what it is to be in your own space. When it comes to the page, this initiation, so again, um, that love. Some of you guys may be even crying next week. Um, you haven't cried in a while. So spirit is like, yo, we're going to make it rain on you. Allow yourself to cry. That energy needs to be released, right? Because if there's any emotional resentment, um, pain, or hate 
or anger that you have towards somebody, allow yourself, Libra, to release it. You're being um, assisted right now with the energies that's happened next week to release that. So, but it's, it's more of a loving vibe to you guys. Um, I don't really get anything else when it comes to work or it's more of in a loving relationship with yourself and how you're going to share that with others. But I really feel like this week, Libra, coming up, you really focus on just yourself. Scorpio. Hello, everyone. Scorpio strength. That's why I like to hear Scorpio because I'm tired of what people are doing. Listen, you got the strength card right here. and But this is like you're not letting other people. So some of you Scorpios are creating the illusion next week that you're weak but you're but that's to take advantage well i'm keeping it real that's to take advantage of your atmosphere at this current time because you do you have the strength next week to really do what it is that you need to do and move forward but you're acting a little bit weak to see who i think that's a little bit manipulating scorpio to see who's there for you and who's not there for you so you acting like you're weak, but you're really not. So um, that's something to think about, especially if it's in a space of manipulation or anything like that. So watch out, Scorpio. For others of you, um, you've gone through the hurdle, and now this week coming up, the energies are going to be helping you build the strength from within so that you can battle and um, and and uh, you want to battle and combat. Ooh, Scorpio is some shit next week. Scorpio next week is lit. So I want you to pull back, Scorpio, and really understand what is it that you truly want and how is it serving both parties, right? Because if it's serving you, it's cool, but if you're doing the same thing other people's doing to you, it's just a cycle that's going to continue. So Scorpio, it's, it's, it's important for you to really understand the cycles that you're creating next. You see that? So I'm getting the as above, so below, as within, so without. So again, use your discernment on how you play the strength card because you are going to have a lot of energy. So you're going to be using that energy to, some of you guys are going to use that energy to manipulate people. Others of you are going to use that energy to strengthen yourself and move forward. So figure out which one you want to use. But either way, you are being pushed and, and geared up for what's to come. All right? Don't forget, I'm getting for you Scorpios, go check out the monthlies to see what the monthly says for you. For your homework, love, and finance. Scorpio. I ain't hanging out with y'all next week. I was a Scorpio in my past life, so that's why I know what Scorpios could do. The Emperor for Sagittarius. Saggy. So Sagittarius, you got the Emperor. So this is a major arcana. So it's a huge effect that's happening next week for you. There's like a huge shift that I'm getting. Um, some of you guys who are in a relationship, you might be in a relationship with someone who still does not know what they want. Man or woman, they don't know what they want. And they're really right now more focused on themselves than actually to be part of this relationship. So that's something that could be coming up for you next week. That could be the surprise where, you know, the person's like, I don't know if I could do this. Oh my God. We just was building this together. All right. So for others of you, it's time for you to go and really, again, go into that heart space. Oh, look, my nails are green too. So I guess it really means to work with our heart chakra this week, guys. Um, Sag, your heart space, connecting. You see how the star is right at the middle of the chest? It's like taking that green piece and putting it right there at the middle of the chest and really anchoring yourself and understanding what you truly deserve what is your self-worth some of you guys are um not understanding really what your self-worth worth is should you decide to create a so for you guys i'm getting that there's a uh, some type of daily activity that you can create to start building that self-worth within you should you decide to start that next week it will be um, solidified for you and anchored because the number four talks about um, stability. So some of you guys are being asked to shift the way you think about yourself so that you can be able to um, talk to yourself in a positive way. Start loving yourself. And as you do that, then 
other people are going to be opening up to love you. So if you're feeling that somebody is not being receptive with the love, it's because you are there's spaces in your crevices in your body that's missing the love. So before that person can love you the way you want them to, spirit is saying go back to loving yourself. For others of you, uh, your heart space is not into the type of work or career that you're doing. So you're being asked to take a seat and really take the time to understand what you want to create. Next week is about unity. It's about helping the people and helping yourself, right? So for those of you in that space, in that area of career and um, legacy, ooh, I like that. Career and legacy. If you're in that space, bring in your heart. Really ask your heart. You can have a conversation with your heart, guys. Hello. How you doing? And you can... I'm stupid now. You can have a conversation with your heart and say, guide me towards our next step. You guys gotta remember the ego we be too into our plans with our heart. Like, come on. Like, put your ego to the side a little bit and just really ask, right? Remember, anything that you create and do that's meant for you to do, you will find your clients. You will find the money. We are abundant. Capricorn with the lover's card in reverse. So some of you caps are in the space of saying, fuck love. That's what y'all saying right now. And, and you go into a space of, you see the snake in the middle? The snake in the middle talks about knowledge. It talks about um, shedding, right? So a lot of you guys who are saying fuck love is because you are releasing what no longer serves you in that space of love. Like shedding all of the people that hurt you or that we allow to hurt ourselves because we don't know what we actually really want, right? That's for some of you. For others of you, there is this partnership where it is toxic and it has to be let go of. Why I say it's toxic, right? Nobody's holding hands, right? And look at the angel up here. This is the angel that I was talking about in the podcast. Don't forget, we dropped two um, episodes of podcast this week. Yeah. There's still a heart there, right? Y'all still see that heart? But at the same time, the angel's like, are oh, they back at it again? So if you're in a space of having confusion in your relationships, Capricorn, next week is going to, you're going to find the information and knowledge to say to yourself, this is not what I want, or this is what I want to keep on going. Because we can keep on going with the same energy and create that cycle. But right now, the space is needed for you to really understand that. So remember, guys, love is not what did it to you. It is the person that came in to create that lesson that you asked for, right? And I know we don't want to hear that because it's like, who wants to ask for a relationship that sucks? We don't, right? But we don't also go back to our past relationships or what we did or how we grew up or is that person going through something, right? Sometimes we get into these relationships thinking that we're supposed to be with this person and we're actually supposed to just be there to support them. We don't know the soul contract that we have with these people and automatically because it feels like love, because it is love in a genuine way, we confuse it because we are in, in some of us are in this mode of wanting to be in a relationship to re instead of really just pushing back and saying to ourselves, well, what type of relationship is this really? Right? We need to start going to relationships like this. Like, okay, I feel something here for you, but what, 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 why am I really here? Like, did you, are you fixing your, your, your childhood traumas? Cause I am, or you not. Mm, so I don't think we meant to be together, but I'm going to give you some advice on how to get that together. Because, you, again, if you're elevating yourself and then you're allowing, and Cap, especially for you, and you elevating yourself and then you meeting up people that is uh, in the space of the work you already just cleared up, like your inner child traumas and stuff like that, you're pulling yourself back to that space, right? Because they're going to start probably triggering you. Maybe you was just asked to be there to share with them that information. So think about those things when it comes to relationships, all right? Especially for my caps. But don't say F love because no one's going to do it. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius, 
you have the eight of swords and you are in a space of confusion 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 coming in the week coming in the week but i truly feel that you can shift this aquarius should you decide to because there's really like you don't have no clouds it's like you're the one that's going like this yeah you're the one that's taking a blindfold and putting it on and you think to yourself this is where i want to be nobody's doing this to you why because when you see the cloud there's nothing confusing you at all so right now it's just you not really wanting to move forward you have the card in reverse it's you aquarius not really wanting to move forward into a space of dewey some of us aquarius don't want to help humanity <laughs> I'm hearing some of you guys saying that you feel like humanity is not in a space to receive your assistance. And that is cool. Um, maybe it's time for uh, a little bit of leveling up when it comes to your mindset because we all need each other at some point to um, get us to the next step. I'm pretty sure I'm going to need all of you guys to help me to get to the next step, which you guys do help me out a lot. So with that being said, Aquarius, think about what it is to help out without being fully involved because Aquarius is like I don't want to be like I see you guys caging yourself in next week not wanting to assist nobody not because you're not really understanding the energies around you some of you Aquarius have to do this to understand the energies around you I understand that but do not stay in that space as well because you can close yourself in next week Aquarius and not really get the clarity either because of that blindfold so use your intuition on when to close out to really recollect your energy to understand what's the next steps. So Aquarius, you guys are going through a, a deep, deep, deep um, transformation next week when it comes to all aspects of your life. Because right now, you, some of you guys are really feeling like you don't want to be around everything that you have created so far. And others of you are in the space of having too many people around you causing confusion as well. Yes. That's what I got. Pisces. Pisces. Can we live with you today? I mean, this next week. Pisces next week is all about your home, your stability. Some of you guys may have um, been in a relationship, so some of you guys um, are moving in together. Others of you might be crossing the broom, right? What that means? Marrying. Right? Thinking about marriage, engagement. So uh, next week, there's a lot of hypeness going on for Pisces. So um reunion i'm getting also um that reunion coming in a lot um a lot of things popping sexually you see that the root chakra the sacral chakra um others of you may be going on vacation pisces next week even if it's just for two or three days so pisces next week is in the celebration mode and you are really going to be in your own space as well but more of like um sharing it with friends and family so um, next week for Pisces is last week was trash. Next week is going to be a, a, a positive one for you. And the number four is about stability. So anything that you want to anchor next week, again, do that using this new moon. Initiating something is as easy as calling somebody. Hey, like literally just speaking. Hey, I found out that you are um, someone who designs. Can you design something for me? No, we can't design it for you. Okay, no problem. Thank you. But just making that call and the universe hearing you looking. And your um and the universe hearing you that you're looking for something in that area. The next thing comes up and the next thing comes up. You can find something on the internet. You can find. So never underestimate yourself when you just take one step. One step can bring a lot of clarity. All right. For anybody who needs extra messages, I am someone who is highly, um, how can I say that? I really take my work serious. So therefore, I do charge. I don't do free readings. I only do free readings when I'm doing the one card reading or when I pull those things up. So for anybody who wants a reading, you guys can book it. I can put the link there and do so because... It takes up a lot of my energy just to um, tap into um, just one specific energy and then having to tap into another and to another. It, it, it's exhausting to my body and my spirit. Like, I'm really honoring and respecting my body. So, 
and I, I'm a damn good reader, so <laughs> book the reading. All right, so with that being said, I have one more card for all of us. got to start respecting your craft. If you start respecting your craft, other people will respect you. It all starts with you. But the amount of meditation and alignment that I do to stay for myself and for you guys, it's a lot. And it's all worth it. See? Happiness. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So, the advice for us is to choose the path of least resistance. Choose the path that brings peace, happiness, and joy, at least for next week, so that you can be able to understand what that feeling feels like, right? Because we're being um, ignited with these type of energies where um, we're going to be um, doing things that bring pleasure to our lives. And as you continue to be in this space, Write down the things that are making you happy so that when you are feeling in a space of darkness or sadness, you can go back to those things. This is why tools are very important. Always remembering what tools took you out of the space that you're in is what's going to assist you as well. So bring in that happiness, right? It doesn't have to be every day, but at least chime some of that happiness inside. You could be sad right now. And then you can... <laughs> And if it, that's the only happiness that you bring in for the rest of the day, do so. But make sure that you put that in there. All right. So with that being said, I love you guys. I'll see y'all next week. And for Buy Me A Coffee, I'm putting everything up to date. Bear with me. I love y'all. Hi, y'all.